What's up you guys, this is Devin with Century Effects Studios back with another video and today we're talking about the R5 Chronicles and we're getting into the electronic shutter buffer. Now in the last couple of episodes I talked about this electronic shutter buffer and this is something that I, <laughs> I am not used to because I used to shoot on the Canon R5 or excuse me, the Canon 5D Mark II, all these names start to start to match together, but the Canon 5D Mark II. Now that's probably like three or four generations under this camera because you got the 5D Mark III, you got the 5D Mark IV, and then you got the 5DSR, and then you got the 5DS and all this other stuff. So you start to understand exactly how old that camera is and there's no such thing as an electronic shutter. Now you did still have live view back in there back in the day and it really works a lot similar to live view but the electronic shutter is something totally different when it comes to utilizing it in the field now when you see it it's also it's just this is just live view except i can see it in there and i can click and i get these little brackets that tell me when i'm shooting yeah but when you get 20 frames a second there's a different responsibility <laughs> when you start shooting with this camera the numbers just start going down <laughs> they just start going down rapidly and you're like i don't know exactly what i'm doing but the camera will tell me if i'm out of memory then you have the cf express type b card which is a sand disc for me and it's both of them are running at 128 gigabytes and i got about 2000 and change images and I'm just running through them on the 20 frames a second electronic shutter. You know, you're recording backups to both cards. So when I'm doing a wedding, I'm shooting from one card to the next. Like both of them are storing the same file at the same time. So one's going to my UHS-2 SD card and then one's going to my CF Express Type B card. When you're crippling both sides of the spectrum, then you don't really get the full 20 frames a second that you want it. And then on top of that, if you're not running with the lens that can support the 20 frames a second autofocus or whatever they were saying, then you get a little bit less than 20 frames a second. But when you're looking at it through your camera, you can kind of, after a while, start to understand exactly what you're getting from what camera lens and what combination you're getting and then what battery setup you're getting. Because if you don't have your full battery LPE6H whatever with the golden stripe on there, you're not gonna get the 20 frames a second either. So, but you will get a fast variation. It won't be 20 frames a second, but daggone, it's gonna be fast enough, especially if you're coming from a Canon 5D Mark II. So when you're loading onto both cards, just for redundancy to make sure you got, you know, a backup for both, I'm gonna to try to start doing it JPEGs on one, uh, on the uh, UHS II, and then I'm just gonna do raw on the CF Express Type B because these cameras still have a lot of dynamic range even if you're running JPEGs as a backup. And so if you need to go to JPEGs because you lost your original raw files, then I would say, hey, let me go with those JPEGs. Or I might go with that new HEIF file format because I need something to give me my full buffer. When I'm using my camera, my electronic shutter at 20 frames a second, you're gonna need to take breaks. And when you're taking these breaks, you're going to have to understand that there are some important moments that you're going to have to take breaks for, just like on your DSLR. Now, it's definitely not as long as your DSLR because, you know, if you're doing sports and wildlife on your DSLR, you can kind of actually get that tactile feel from your mechanical shutter and know how to let off the, let off the gas a little bit, let off the gas a little bit. But you also have to understand that that technique is still needed even though you have a mirrorless camera, you know, that costs a lot more money and even though you want the full capabilities out of it, you're still gonna have to make some concessions, especially if you don't have dual CF Express Type B card slots. Now, back in the day, when I used to use the 5D Mark II and the 7D Mark I, you have two card slots that are CF cards. Now these CF cards were great because they were durable, they never broke, they rarely ever gotten the corruption sign. I only had one that had corrupt data on it. But I would really wish that those CF cards stayed around for a long time because they didn't take up too much memory. Like I didn't have to buy one that had a whole bunch of memory because the you know the file sizes weren't that big back in the day. But now <laughs> it's like these CF Express Type B cards go all the way up to these humongous numbers and now we're doing 20 frames a second so there's so much more that you have to take accountability for and responsibility for when you're using this 20 frames per second and you also have to understand that 20 frames a second may not be 20 frames a second so now i want to just end this off with a story 
Um, so um, I had a family member that was getting married, and they wanted to have a courthouse wedding. These courthouse weddings happen a lot, especially nowadays with people not getting married as much as they used to. But the courthouse wedding is fast. So I'm sitting there taking pictures with my electronic shutter so I can be silent. And then I get to the point where they are about to kiss. Now understand, we're in the courthouse during the pandemic. Well, Canon had an update for the pandemic masks. When you're on your mask on your face and you're doing um, high frames a second and um, face tracking and autofocus. The, the Canon R5 and all the other uh, Canon R series cameras that are new that have this are having trouble with, you know, the mask being on the face while, you know, you're doing face tracking and autofocus. So when people took off their masks, they could only take off their mask in the courthouse or when my family members took off their masks, you can only take off your masks at the point where you're about to kiss and then put your masks back on. That is a strict rule and you're at the courthouse so you have to abide by it. But when I went to go take pictures, now I'm on AI servo or, or the new uh, servo mode for Canon R5 cameras and it's saying, I can't take, I'm thinking I'm taking pictures cause I'm, I got my finger down on the, on the, on the shutter. But I'm like, for whatever reason, it doesn't feel like I'm taking a picture. And I'm not really paying attention to the buffer because it's a short event. Like I, there's no way I could have outran the buffer, but this is the first time I'm actually shooting a wedding with dual card slides. And I didn't really think about the buffer and I didn't think about what battery I had in the camera at the time because it was a short wedding. I didn't think anything of it. So when they were about to kiss, guess what? I missed the moment. When they kissed, I missed the moment. You might want to go ahead and slander me in the comments, but I missed the kiss. And you might be saying, Devin, you're stupid. You should have been looking at that buffer. You stupid, this, that, and the other. But, you know, I'm a professional. I've been doing this for a while. <laughs> and I know if it's a wedding this small, I'm just going to stop them like I did <laughs> and tell them to re-kiss like I did. So, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> everybody's not going to have that opportunity. And that's the last thing I want anybody to have to deal with is to tell their bride and groom <laughs> to re-kiss. So I'm done with Century Effects Studios. If you have any questions about the R5, hit the affiliate links below. I didn't say that in the last video. Hit the affiliate links below if you're thinking about buying this camera, thinking about buying any of the accessories, the CF Express Type B, the, the Lexar um, UHS-2 card that I use. All these things will be in the links in the description below. It supports my channel. And stay tuned for the next video.